Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be covering how we can set up a syslog server to log network events on Windows 10. Typically, network devices store event messages on the device itself. However, you can configure it to send a specific server. The server henceforth is called a syslog server. The network sends all the event messages to the syslog server specified where you can make certain rules for different types of messages. To be able to do this, we will be using Kiwi syslog server tool from SolarWinds. SolarWinds has developed several softwares that can be used for managing systems and networks, etc. So first of all, the installation of Kiwi syslog server is the part of this video. To set up a syslog server, first you'll have to download the Kiwi syslog server tool from SolarWinds official site. The link for the tool can be found in this video's description. So open up the link in any browser. You'll land here and you can just click on download the free tool. When you click on the link, you will land to this form. Just fill in the details and then just click on proceed to free download. Once you fill in the form, click on download now. And the download should get started in a couple of seconds. Save the file. So once downloaded, just open it and run the installer. Click on yes for the UC prompt. Install all the required updates. Or framework okay so once we are done with the prerequisites just go through the wizard and now here we need to install that this as a service so that it can keep on working when the user is not logged in so let's go ahead and install Kiwi syslog server as a service and click on next let's move ahead with the local account and let the rest to default and wait for the installation to complete. All right, so once it's done, just click on finish and let the application open. Let me maximize it. Okay, so once we are ready and we have installed the Kiwi syslog server on the system, you are going to need someone to walk you through the options available. And don't worry, we are going to cover all important features that are provided in the free edition of Kiwi syslog server in this video. So, so once you are in the Kiwi syslog server, just click on file and click on setup or alternatively you can press control P. So the first thing is basically is to set up filters and actions. So what we are going to do is to set up filters and actions in this software. So let's go ahead and click on setup. Now, basically filters are used to decide what will happen when a message is received. With the tool, you can filter a message based upon priority, IP address range, the content of the message, the source of the message as known as host name, etc. You can set a filter by creating a new rule or in the rules created by default. To create a new rule, right click rules and click add rules. So let's go ahead and go here. And click on add rule. Once you have created a new rule, just right click on filters and click on add filter. So on this screen, you can rename filter whatever you want. However, a name that suggests what the filter is for is recommended. You can set the filter type by choosing from the drop down list in front of field. You can select priority, you can select IP address, host name, message text, time of the day, flag counters, or input source. You get the idea. So for this example, let's click on IP address. Now, you can provide a range. So in my example, let me use a range of my IPs. And then we have actions. Actions basically tell the server what to do when a specific filter has been met. It can display the received messages, store them in a log file, play a sound, etc. 
However, in free addition, there are limitations to the actions that you can perform. To set an action, highlight actions, right click and then click on add action. So let's go ahead and add an action. So you can choose from this drop down list what to do when a particular filter is met. It can, you know, display, log to file and you get the idea of the actions that can be performed. There are tons of things that you can do with this utility. You can change how the messages are displayed by going to display and set alarms when certain conditions are met. Uh, with this utility, you can also receive traps. SNMP traps are sort of similar to syslog in that they are real-time notifications that notify you when you have a network problem. You can make the utility listen for SNMP traps by going to SNMP under inputs. By default, the utility listens to all the messages sent to the server on the UTP port 514. You can also make it to listen for TCP syslog messages by enabling the feature, which is under Inputs and then TCP. Once done, all the messages sent to the server on the UTP port 514 or any other that you have configured will be displayed. If you want to save all the rules, filters and actions that you have created, you can do so by going to Default Import Export. There, click on Export Settings and Rules to INI Files. So, by clicking on this button, you can save the file wherever you want. So, let's just for example, save it on my desktop and let's proceed further. You can also reset all the rules and settings by clicking load default rules and settings. And there is much more to explore. You can try it yourself and see how it helps you. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel.